Hello, and welcome to That's the Point, where we talk about cool technology, and more specifically, we talk about construction technology. My name is Corey Meyer. Flying right seat with me is Jonathan Stickle. What is up? Doing well. Glad to be here. You, you are in the right seat, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, <laughs> sometimes we do cool episodes with new stuff, and this is one of those episodes. We're sitting here with the brand new Trimble R780, um, which is the newest and the latest and the greatest GNSS receiver for building construction. And as always with these new tools, like I'm kind of geeked and excited to jump into this. At least on the building construction side, um, we're always so focused on the optical side of the business that oftentimes we overlook the satellite positioning. Um, so the biggest question in everyone's mind is likely, why would we need a GNSS um, receiver for building or vertical construction? Good question, because as, as, as many know, like with GNSS, you have to have that, to get that accuracy, you have to have clear view of the sky. So anytime you have a canopy, anytime you're in a heavily urban environment, anytime you're under deck, yeah. um, you're gonna lose that accuracy. And so GNSS does, um, that is why opticals have taken over the market on the building and vertical construction side. But more and more, we're seeing a huge push and we're seeing a ton of interest um, in GNSS receivers because so much of the construction workflow is done these days before we get to that point where yeah. we're going vertical. Um, and so I think there's several attributes of satellite positioning that are perfectly applicable to uh, building construction as we know it today. And the first thing is ease of setup, right? We've got, it's simple, you set up a base station once, you can mount a post, you can mount a monument, you just put a threaded rod there, you can screw it in. Um, it's repeatable. Um, and so ease of setup, you can come in, initialize, and you're off and running in 90 seconds if you've already got a job set up. Um, the next thing is the speed of the points, right? It's, it's an idea of you simply got your rover um, with, your, with your tablet attached to it. You can simply go around, you're checking points, you're doing it. And with these particular 780s, like we've got the tilt compensation. Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to really level up your, your rod at all. Like you just simply go, take your points, and you're staking out really, really quickly for your layout. And the next thing is scope and the size of the coverage, right? So with a total station, um, you know, there is, a, there is a limit to how far we want to comfortably get from that total station. GNSS really doesn't have that same limitation. So mm -hmm. you can use massive job sites, massive parking lots, those kind of things where maybe you're laying out electrical or, or some utility work um, or something in a parking lot or before the, your pad's laid, you're working on some of your foundation work. Um, that's, that's where a GNSS can really come in and you're seeing good enough tolerances to make those layout points and make them work. Yeah, absolutely. So. I think another key thing is that it's the same software you're using for the Trimble yeah, Field, huge. the same Trimble Fielding software that you're using for the total stations for the X7. So you're really unifying that workflow, um, which is huge. And you're not, and and that's a huge point because we're not. We've already said like we're not really replacing the optical total station under mm -hmm. deck and in all those situations. So you want to have a comfortable workflow that you're already used to. And with Fieldlink, it's as simple as just picking the GNSS receiver then going back to work, you're using the exact same interface, which is huge. Mm -hmm. Some other key features, we got a state plane coordinates. Yep. Um, also, you can share one base with uh, multiple rovers. Um, also, this thing is rugged. I mean, it is <laughs> it is like a kettlebell. Like it is like a hand. kettlebell. I never thought can, of that. It can take some impact. So, um, <laughs> And then uh, also, you know, it's just flexible. You can use a base and rover, and you can also connect this with a virtual network. Um, which we'll get into in a later episode. Yeah, and we are doing another That's the Point episode on your different way to get your corrections, which could be VRS, it could be a base station. And the nice thing is with these new receivers like the R780 and even, even the SPS 986 that, that was before it, it's nice because it's the exact same receiver. We just mm -hmm. configure them differently. Um, your local building point or configure them for a base, a rover, or both. Mm -hmm. um, and then that way you can easily go out and scale that. And as, we, as you were alluding to, it's nice because you can scale that on a project as well. It's easy. You run one base station. You can connect as many rovers as you wanted to it. So any other trades, any other layout crews on the site that want to use GNSS already can utilize that base station and get that same accuracy that you're getting mm -hmm. all in one complete package. It makes sense. So Trimble R780, it's new. Um, it's a fantastic option for buildings. Um, make sure that you schedule up your demo with your local building point today. And don't forget, we also have a link down below. You can check out our first look video, which kind of goes over the features and benefits of the R780 in a little bit more detail. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button to ensure that you don't miss all the latest tips, tricks, and pointers. Jonathan, we did it. Talked yes. about GNSS. That's right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.